Hey everybody. So um, what we've got here is we've got the output stage to the uh, Cobra 2000. And um, as I knock the camera around, sorry about that, um, this is our run obtainium part. Well, it's not, a, it's pretty close. They're hard to find. Um, and, you know, uh, we're going to figure out at least how to make one. Because I believe I know how to make one. Um, and uh, I think that this really is nothing more than a small signal diode. That's just my take. Um, I have not researched this thing very much. Um, I really don't know anything about it. But uh, I believe that this is a small signal diode. Uh, that's basically in a blob that's attached to a little copper plate. And um, I'm going to demonstrate with a real diode or with a small signal, you know, with a small signal diode, what this is doing and why they have this here. So, you know, when when you don't have something, you got to figure out how to, you know, get something that'll work. So, we're going to auto voltmeter here, and we're gonna zoom this out. We've got some leads, and we've got uh, most importantly a little diode. 4148 diode. So if we plug all this in and put this guy on a diode check and just look at the uh, voltage drop on this thing, it should be around 0.6 volts, which it is. Now, what happens when that diode gets hot? As in the case of this one, which is mounted to a heat sink. Let's make it hot. We're gonna blow some hot air at it. Fancy that. The voltage drop is decreasing as it gets hotter. So, what do you think's happening? You see how low it can get? Let's not tempt fate, but you get the idea. So, this gets hotter. Um, its internal resistance drops, and when its internal resistance drops, um, its forward voltage drops, which means it's going to pull the base <laughs> out of the way. We're going to pull this base down. So that thing is loud. Just let it cool off slower. So we're going to pull this base down. Hotter this gets, the more it's going to pull this down. Now, as a, if, as a side effect of what's going to happen to this transistor, okay you're going to lower its base emitter voltage, okay? So when you lower its base emitter voltage, it's going to start to cool down uh, itself. So, you know, and you know, when you're talking about RF stuff, as far as I understand, I'm not really an RF guy. I mean, I know enough to be dangerous, which, by the way, that diode is basically back up to normal. Um, so... I think that this is just a diode, and a, pa a diode in a funny package, and I think that this is two diodes in a funny package. And why do I say two diodes? 1.25 volts. That's two of them, uh, two diodes back to back. That has to be two, and that's one. So I think that you can replace this with one of these provided you get a figure figure out a way to mount this. So, you know, obviously the guys at Uniden, um, you know, they were clever in figuring this out. I, it just seems to be more voodoo to me. I mean, I, mean, I get what's happening here. Um, you don't want to let the, you know, have these transistors getting too hot or getting, um, uh, you know, running too close to saturation because you're going to have all kinds of interesting things happening uh, to your RF signal. So that's what these are for. So when this shorted and dragged this all down, um, hence why you got almost no output here. So, you know, what do we do to replace this? So I got looking. <laughs> At the, at the 148, similar radio to the 2000, so basically a, you know, it, it's it's close enough. The RF deck is almost identical. So this is a late version. You see what they did here? Those are two small circuit boards. 
And on those two small circuit boards are two SOP23 um, packages. Now I haven't measured them um, because I would, you know, really measure them out of circuit. I would, I would desolder them and actually verify. But I would be willing to bet that this is one diode and that this is two diodes. Two little SOP23 packages. Now those are mounted on two little circuit boards. Now, I don't know how well or how visible that is. Let's see if we can't zoom into that. There you go, camera, focus. So you got two little SOP23s. Now if you notice, there's a hole in the circuit board and they're upside down so that the tops of the transistors are going to be um, you know, hitting that in those mica insulators that are under there um, that are on top of those heat sinks. So what do you think's going on there? So I think that that's pretty obvious that it, they, they came up with a different and more and obviously cheaper solution, which was two little circuit boards with a bunch of diodes because that's all that thing really is. It's nothing more than a diode. So all I got to do is fabricate a bunch of these. <laughs> and that's really not that hard. Um, so if I was to pull these up um, uh, and get the, uh, or try to get the markings off of that, I would be willing to bet that I could figure out that those are probably nothing more than small signal diodes, SOT 23. So anyway, um, the schematic has fallen on the floor. So I think that these are not as unobtainium as they seem to be. Um, but unfortunately, you can't just go in the circuit and dump one of these um, because you need, and that's the whole thing. This has to be physically, um, you know, and, you know, thermally connected to these transistors because these diodes are tracking the temperature change of these transistors. So hopefully you guys found this interesting. Um, so I'm going to attempt to fabricate something to replace. Well, this is the one that's, um, that's giving me trouble and it is nothing more than, like I said, a diode, a small signal diode, like a 4148. Um, nothing, you know, nothing too fancy there. Um, it might not really be a 4148 because um, we got a 0.7 and it's like a 0.6. It's, it's, it is a, I, I'm, I know it's got to be a diode. So um, I just have to figure out or find a diode that's not, that's, you know, that it's got a, um, uh, you know, forward voltage drop of uh, around 0.7 volts and I think it'll work just fine. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, nothing too fancy. Um, it actually seems uh, uh, quite uh, quite reasonable to me, um, and I'm not even an RF guy like primarily. So, anyways, I hope that was interesting. Hope you liked the demonstration. Um, so, if anybody needs to um, uh, replace these guys and you can't get them, um, just uh, find you a SOT to a SOT 23, flip it around on a little circuit board, and um, stuff it on the back. It probably will work just fine. Anyways, catch you next time.